Why is my nickel black? Is it a mint error? And if it is a mint error, is it valuable? Well, we're going to talk about that in this video because I think a lot of you might have an idea of what I'm showing here. But we need to talk about it because a lot of people have these confused. So graded by Annex, Mint State 64, ANACS. It's a 1959 Jefferson nickel. They called it a black beauty. And what you can't hardly read, it says improperly annealed. That is the actual term for this. Black beauty is a nickname. You hear a lot about these. It doesn't just happen to nickels. I made some notes here. Black Beauty is a nickname. It's actually sometimes referred to as a center planchet. It used to be, but it's actually an improperly annealed planchet. It is not toning. Note, doesn't just happen to nickels. Improperly annealed planchets can happen to any coin that goes through the annealing oven and just happens so every U.S. coin minted goes through the annealing oven. So, important. This occurs as the planchet is being annealed with heat in the annealing oven. If you know anything about metals, alloys, and things like that, Heat is a very important part about softening and hardening metals so that they can be actually struck or manipulated. It's something you'll see even in if you watch Forged in Fire where they have the contest where they make the swords. So my name is Daniel and you are watching Coin Help You. Let's dive into this and see what is valuable about an improperly annealed planchet and what they look like on other coins. So we're going to take a look at some sold auctions of graded black beauties and center planchets and properly annealed planchets also i have channel memberships if you're interested in becoming a channel member please hit join and see the perks that i offer for the different tiers i will tweak these perks as i gain new members and get feedback so first we had over here on our coin help you community a person posted this asking if this is a black beauty I think a lot of people get mixed up in the black beauty part that it looks like a you know toning on a coin or the coin must be toned. This one does not look like a black beauty. It looks like a coin that was found in the ground. I can see some green. I see some red. This would not be what you would call a black beauty. Over here on NGC's forum, their message board, this person posted this. Again, they're mixing it up with just because a nickel's toned, it must be a black beauty. That is not the case. Like I said, improperly annealed planchets and center planchets are not toned coins. They look toned, but they're actually not. You have metal molecules during the heating from other coins or other planchets or just from being in the annealing oven with all the planchets going through there. Other metal molecules adhering to the surface of the planchet that's being heated. And once they chemically or once they molecularly bond to that surface, that's what you get. You'll get discoloration on a coin. It's not toning, like I said. So that's very important to know that. So we can look over here at Heritage sold auctions. And these are the most recent. These are improperly annealed planchets, black beauties, is what they call them on nickels. And they were graded both by Annex and they both sold. Now, with Annex fees, and if you found this in a roll, it would be worth having graded at Annex. It would not be worth having graded at NGC or PCGS. It'd have to grade higher than 64. Both of these graded 64. One sold in 2022 for 119 and the other one for $69. We can take a look at these, a little closer look. And you can see it looks very similar to my coin. And they call them black beauties because they're black. Not all nickels look black, though, that are improperly annealed. So these are mint errors. They do have a value, as you can see. But as an improperly annealed planchet, you will see there are other variations of this. And they're not black beauties. You could call them copper beauties. You could say th people think they're on a copper planchet. If you find a coin like this and it weighs normal five grams for a nickel, then it's definitely not on the incorrect planchet. This is going to be an improperly annealed planchet. And that goes back to what I was saying about the annealing oven. Copper molecules from another planchet or whatever was in the annealing oven, adhered to this, molecularly bonded to this coin. And when it did that, it created this appearance. That's very important to note when it comes to these. Here's another one. Here's a quarter. A lot of people would find this quarter and think it struck on a copper planchet, but it is not. It's not on planchet stock or anything like that for pence cents. 
It's actually, like I said, improperly a nil planchet. So it's important to weigh it, have it graded. And of course you can see what this sold for, $69. This one sold for $119. It's very important for the grade, the coin type, all that's going to play in to how much a coin is worth if it's on an improperly annealed or centered planchet. It's probably proper to call it improperly annealed because that's what was going on. It was improperly annealed in the oven. It's not really centered. Centered sounds like something that was burnt. All these went through that annealing oven. You have um, different values for how dramatic it looks. This one sold for $169, and this is a 2004. This one is another 2004, and it sold for 69. So it's going to depend a lot. Like I said, that was a 65 in a PCGS holder. This is a 64 in a PCGS holder. Grade is a factor as well on how much they sell for. Now, if we look at center planchets, I type that in just to give a search for it so we have other examples. Here is an Eisenhower dollar. We'll take a closer look at that. It sold for $195. Now, that was back in 2010. This coin's going to be worth more than that now. But this is going to stick out like a sore thumb. If this comes out of a roll or you find it in a bag of Eisenhower dollars, people are going to see this. It's going to stick out. So they're going to be harder to find. They're going to be worth more. We can actually look at the, the most recent, which is what we did. We can look at the most, the highest first, let's say. And these are also improperly annealed. They look different, but also you got to take in consideration the images were different too, different lighting. So they're not always going to look exactly the same in images. Here is what you could say is a black beauty for a Susan B. Anthony. Even though it's got to be called improperly annealed, it's still pretty dark like the nickels we were showing. If we look at the improperly annealed and we look at the most valuable there, we can see what have sold for the most. That's what I like about Heritage. Again, it's about the same thing. This 77 sold for, it's a 66 though, but it sold for $431. This one is struck on an improperly annealed Cuba 1C. And so this is kind of a dual error here. We can take a look at it. It sold for $1,740. But like I said, you've got to weigh it. If it weighs 2.5 grams and it's a 58 and it looks like this, then you probably have a decent mint error. That's what you do. You have to weigh these. Weigh it and then, if, and also realize it's not toning. So I hope that helped you with values and what a black beauty is and how it occurs and that you can find it on all the coins out there. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.